We will start on the highest possible difficulty and make it extra hard. First thing to do is build a logging camp, because we only start with two timbers and a hunting ground for our first food supply. Next thing we need is a marketplace. You need one with about 18 to 20 stall locations. Track the movements of the waders. They will come in one year, we need to be ready. We won't be able to have our own army until then, so we need money to pay mercenaries. Get all people to work in the two buildings. You can ride back to your enemy, but you don't need to. The hunting ground is important because in winter we can't use berries and it supplies us with meat and hides. Hides will be needed later. As soon as you have 10 timber, use this timber to build 5 houses. Deselect three workers from the two buildings and use them as builders. It's really important to build these houses because at the moment we have a homelessness modifier on our approval. When our one lumberjack has cut down additional trees, we will build a well and a woodcutter's lodge. Put one family into the woodcutter's lodge. Now we will build a tannery. The tannery will provide us with leather. This will be used as clothing for our families and we can sell it later to fund our mercenaries. Put one family in there. Now we will build a stone cutter. We need 10 stone to build a church. The church is very important for the approval of our citizens.
use one family to cut exactly 10 stone. After this, deselect this family from the stone cutters camp. Now we will build a saw pit to get enough planks for the church. We will also use planks to get our first money from trade later on. As soon as you have enough planks, build the church. Remember to keep one family in the logging camp, because we also need timber for the church. If the approval is too long in the deep red state, families will start leaving the village. And we can't afford that. We need every single family for our economy to be ready when the first raiders arrive. Now deselect both families from the logging camp and the saw pit and build the church. Remember, when the church is being built, keep families in the hunting ground, the tannery and the woodcutters camp. When the church is halfway ready, put one family again in the stonecutters camp and cut enough stone to build the manor. After this, deselect them from the stonecutters camp again. Once the church is built, put one family in the logging camp and one family in the saw pit. Make them work long enough to get enough resources for the manor.
once you have enough planks, you can use this family to get additional timber. Now build the manor nearby your village. Use one family from the logging camp to build the manor. Our approval is nearly high enough for additional families to arrive. As soon as it is above 50% or green, build additional houses, so additional families can move in. Once you have additional timber, place a trading post. We will trade planks to get in first income and after this we will open a trade route for leather. This will get us enough regional wealth that we can tax with our manor that we can get enough treasury to hire mercenaries. The approval is above 50%, so I place an additional house and put it on the highest priority. We need those additional families. We need about 60 treasury to hire a mercenary company that can deal with the first wave of raiders. You can use your development points right on, but I like to save them for later. Once a new family has moved in, build additional houses. The trading post is ready. Now we can begin to trade planks. Remember, you desired surplus 
must always be zero. We need to sell every single plank to make enough money to hire the mercenaries. Once we have additional families, we will build a forager hut near our berry spawn to boost our food income. Use one family to harvest berries. Once you have a nice surplus of planks, use the family from the saw pit to trade these planks at the trading post. Once we have enough money, we will establish a trade route for planks and later on for ladder 2. Set the desired surplus to zero. Now that you have enough money, open a trade route for ladder. Set the desired surplus to 5 to save some ladder for the clothing need of our citizens. Our goal is to get 150 regional wealth.
use additional families to boost our plank production. I had to reload my game here because of a bug. Remember, this is an early access version. So saved your game frequently. But nothing changed, we are still at the exact same point. We will put more families into the forager hut to meet the food demands. At the moment we have 9 families. We are not strong enough to supply more. So for now we won't build additional houses. Once the regional wealth reaches 150, we will set a land tax and we will set it to 40%. This will tank our approval rating, but not enough that families start leaving. And we will only take this tax once to get enough treasury to hire mercenaries. Now we will set the tax rate back to zero. We will use the rest of the regional money to improve our houses with extra gardens and chicken. This will help us with our food supply. At the moment we won't need a trader anymore, so use this family to harvest additional berries. Thank you. 
Once the berries are depleted, use your foragers for other tasks in the village. Here they come, our first enemies. One year of preparation. I think we are ready. We can't defeat them with our own people. So we will hire the mercenary company that has the lowest cost. Here they are. They will be enough to defeat the bandits. The fight is won. Our village is safe for now. Now we search for a bandit camp and use the mercenaries to raid this camp. We can use the money from this raid to hire additional mercenaries later on when we need them. But this is optional. We can also get enough money from trade. This was the first year. We survived and defeated our first threat. Now you can do whatever you like. I, for myself, will continue with fields and farms and later on claim the rich iron deposit to build my own militia, so I won't be dependent on mercenaries anymore.